This place has seen better days. Slow down now. There we go. Are you ready to finish Harlow? I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. What is your plan? I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie and that we rescued Mr. Rabe. The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle, did it? I do not believe it did. Harlow intends to ambush us. But now we have the upper hand. We can prepare. We are stronger than Harlow, and he knows it. That's why he's resorting to this sort of trickery. We must go. Agreed. Let's finish this. Brilliant. Harlow's reign ends today. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. I already sent her an owl to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell your mother? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashwinders until everyone is. I shall pursue them until they are finished, and I think she knows that. As do you. That I do. Keep an eye out. Harlow is likely around here somewhere. I sense he is close. Where is he? I do not know. We should look around. Ah! Out of our children! Walk right into our trap! Protect us! That's why I got two of them! You were desperately coming to me, Frida! You've made a great mistake! Well done! <laughs> Sionai in it, and her excruciatingly loyal companion. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills.
Are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, mother. I feel fine, and it will do me good to see my friend. Very well, but do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, mother. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. Only because of you. How are you feeling? <laughs> well, I've had better days, but Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. I am sorry, Natty. It's my fault you got hurt. What? No. Do not blame yourself for this. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... You did what came naturally. I suppose it was instinct. Yes. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty? Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my. I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice. Based on instinct, my father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? A battle here at Hogwarts, everything we have done to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer now because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. Thank you for coming to visit me. It is always good to see you. Just the person I was hoping to see. I see Doran finally convinced you to leave the Snidgets. If anyone can keep them out of poacher hands, it's the centaurs. And I wanted to thank you. When the poachers ambushed us, I... It was nice not to face them alone. Of course. It's the sort of thing friends do for each other, isn't it? I suppose so. I am glad you came to Hogwarts. It's already been my best year. I wouldn't want a repeat of Hauntel Hall, of course, but I did enjoy the Three Broomsticks. Had no idea how lovely it was there. Had you never been to the Three Broomsticks? I used to spend most of my time with Highwing, and, well, I don't know how Serona feels about hippogriffs popping in for a butterbeer. Highwing's the only one I would have gone with. Or Gran, of course. Nothing wrong with that. Highwing's good company. She is. Although I am beginning to see the appeal of, uh, human friends. It was nice to talk about my parents and Gran with someone. And share Highwing. I don't suppose you've heard anything from your parents, have you? I haven't, but I'm perfectly fine with that. Does your Gran know that we found the Snidges? I couldn't hold it in any longer. I told her everything. She was livid that I'd been anywhere near the poachers, but she confessed that she was rather envious about the Snidgets. It has all been a pleasure, Poppy. Do try and stay out of trouble. Don't know that I can. We've taken on poachers twice now, successfully. I rather think you've helped me develop a taste for it. And with centaurs as allies, I might actually go looking for trouble. You and I should meet for a butterbeer soon. Perhaps Highwing can join us?
I'm glad you came. Sebastian, I received your L. What's happened? Ominous spoke with Anne about what happened with my Uncle Solomon. She believes I should pay for what I did, but she won't turn me in. She said the guilt I'll have to live with is punishment enough. I'm so sorry, but I'm glad to know that you can at least try to move on now. The thing is, I think I've lost my sister, my twin, forever. She refuses to even see me. I can't blame her. I couldn't really blame any of you if you gave up on me entirely. You all believed in me, and I let you all down. Anne may just need some time. Surely one day she'll be able to forgive you. I hope you're right. I realize I can't undo what's been done, but I can try every day to make up for it. I owe you an ominous everything for standing by me. Well, it wasn't easy. But I believe in you, Sebastian. I've had a sense about you since that first day in Defense Against the Dark Arts. Seems so long ago. Thank you. I have no idea what's to come, but I'm grateful for your friendship. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts.
Revelio. Professor Weasley, you wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since... I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on, and that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the Wizarding World is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a Graphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even somehow ingratiated yourself with the Headless Hunt. How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Sweeting. It's nice to see her engaging more with her classmates. There have evidently been Snidget sightings in the area lately. If the centaurs are to be believed, two Hogwarts students are behind it. I'm certain I don't know what... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. It seems you've nothing left to do to complete your field guide. Most impressive! With your OWLs soon upon us, I am thrilled to see you so prepared. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in late to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us. Revelio. Who would have thought someone as young as me could save my uncle's life? Uh. Hello, Adelaide. How are you and your uncle doing? Very well, thanks to you. The more I learn about Ranrock's foul lot, the more astounded I am that my uncle survived. I looked back over his old owls and noticed that they included pertinent details about his rare metal deposits. I believe that Ranrock's fiends were after those deposits and that they needed my uncle's knowledge. He was willingly going to rot away in that cell to keep me safe. Any other pertinent details about those owls? Plenty. Uncle Roland couldn't be certain, but he thought he overheard goblins talking about infusing something into goblin silver. He wasn't sure what they meant, but something about the way they spoke of it made his skin cruel. Ugh, it's clear you saved my uncle from a very bad lot. It was nothing at all, Adelaide. I'm just glad your uncle's safe. So am I. Seeing him again was such a relief. I told him that he must remain vigilant from now on. I, for one, can't help but look over my shoulder now whenever I leave the castle grounds.
just beware the open flame. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. That's a warm. <coughs> This year, we have seen our students exemplify the bravery of Godric Gryffindor. Yeah! And now we can finish the loyalty of Helga Hufflepuff. The wisdom of Rowena Ravenclaw. And the ambition of Salazar Slytherin. And so, the winner of this year's house cup. Excuse me, Headmaster, if I may. One particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts, not to mention the level to which they have excelled in their coursework as a new student, no less. Well, it would seem that it certainly merits I'd say 100 points to their house. Wouldn't you agree? Ah, yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. I suppose we have our winner. So pleased you've completed your field guide. Well done. By all accounts, Hogwarts will be lost without you. Thank you.